children that sleep in rooms that have a night light or dim lights are much more likely to develop myopia, nearsightedness. Conversely, children that sleep in very dark rooms, so either very dim night lights or complete black, they have a much lower, statistically speaking, a significantly lower probability of developing myopia, nearsightedness. Now, why is that? It's because the wavelengths of light that matter for these melanopsin cells oftentimes can get through the eyelids. And that's particularly true for children and people that have thin eyelids. Let's shed some light on this claim, shall we? Back in 1999, yeah, that long ago, a study found that kids who slept with a nightlight or room light under the age of two were more likely to become nearsighted between the ages of two to 16. But a couple of follow-up studies said, not so fast. They found no solid link. Turns out kids with nearsighted parents were more likely to maybe have nightlight, so it may have been more about genes than lights. So why is this still a conversation? Well, some people think that certain wavelengths of light, like blue or white light, can pass through eyelids, especially in babies with thinner lids. That light may reach special cells in the eye that help control how the eyes grow. If those cells are overstimulated at night, it could throw off eye development and raise the risk of myopia. But this theory hasn't been fully proven in humans. Now here's what has been proven to be a risk of nearsightedness or myopia. Genetics play a big role. Kids spending too much time on screens or close up work like reading is a risk. Screens like iPads being more of a concern since there may be less of a chance of breaks from this focus. And not getting enough natural daylight during the day. That's a big one too. So what can you actually do? Make sure your child gets outdoor play daily or exposure to natural light during regular daytime activities. Take regular breaks from close-up work like reading or screen time. And if your child needs a night light, that's fine. Just use a dim, warm colored light like amber or red and keep it away from their face, ideally across the room or near the floor. Here's the light bulb moment. Focus less on the bulb and more on exposure to daylight, minimizing screens, especially iPad use, and the genes, which we really can't control. That's what really protects your child's vision. See below for more.